All right, Division fans, let's talk. So, Star Wars Outlaws has gone gold. Why does that concern you? You're a Division player, aren't you? Well, it kind of does concern us because one of the major players in terms of developing the Division, basically giving a direction of some kind, is Julian Garrity. Now, <laughs> I just got to go ahead and laugh and say, all right, I know in the community, Julian is probably not the most popular person at the moment, but at the end of the day, remember, the division has been under the custodianship of others who have been decision makers in that area. Yes, when Julian actually, you know, pretty much came out and marketed the division two, many people had different expectations that weren't met, but division two eventually stabilized and got to a very good place. And then he moved on to do the Star Wars project and has now been, in a sense, announced to be a major player in the division three's production. So now that Star Wars Outlaws has gone gold, I guess now maybe we can try to use our imagination to say, okay, what could be happening within the walls of massive Ubisoft? Welcome to the Gamer Dad channel. Let's go ahead and jump into this stuff today because August 30th is when this game launches and when this game releases. Now, Julian Garrity is not a machine. He might need a sabbatical of some kind. But for many of you who've been watching this channel for years, I've basically been talking about how I thought that Yannick was probably more likely to be the creative director for Division 3. And Julian is not the creative director. He's actually in a different role. I think he's more than likely going to be overseeing the project. And I think Yannick is going to sparehead the development of the Division 3. Now, I may be wrong, but it only makes sense from the perspective of Yannick's own, uh, you know, comeuppings in a sense and how he's been very much attached to the division as a brand as a game and also is very very knowledgeable about the community since the division one he has been a community manager and has basically been in a liaison between the division uh you know as a game the developers the producers and those who have been shot callers and the community and then by the division two, he was actually in the, the role of the associate creative director while Julian was a creative director. Also, many of you may or may not know, but Julian was the associate creative director for the division one under Magnus Jensen. So when we look at this movement and if everything kind of continues like that, I think we may be able to see that. But at the end of the day, I don't necessarily think we have to squabble about these little, uh, you know, things. Why? Because the division is such an evolving game. What I've argued and what I've talked about lately is that as the division continues to progress, that the developers make meaningful changes as the game evolves. And this is in Division 3. Hence, the evolution of the Division 3 in my opinion, seems, you know, would need to be pre-planned for the most part. You know, you can plan all you want, but at the end of the day, things are going to change. And that's noted and that's understandable. However, the Division 1's reactionary development for the most part and the Division 2's reactionary, this is what I think it was. I mean, if it wasn't, then man, it must have been the most planned chaos ever. But that reactionary development style, I don't necessarily think was good for the longevity of the game. I think the developers need a lot more contingencies as they continue to go in. And I think they're going to have an upper hand if that game is going to be targeting the new generation of, you know, consoles and a new you know generation of hardware, then there might be more that needs to be done. I think one thing that we haven't necessarily talked about would even be the game modes that we would love to see. We've not even delved into specific areas of PVP. I've mentioned that briefly. And we don't even know how they're even working on developing the PvP pipeline. Is it something where Red Storm, as they basically put aside, you know, the Heartland project, or as it was announced anyways, that the Heartland project was put aside, have they delved into the PvP side of the game? Are they going to harness all of those tools that they have sitting in their studio in Cary, North Carolina, and the expertise? Are they going to basically be able to make it cohesive with the new game? These and a lot of questions need to be answered. But one thing that really makes it very interesting is, all this while, as a lot of the top players, folk like Thailander, folk like Drew, have they've, as they've been working on titles like Star Wars and even other team members working on the Avatar game, have more than likely shifted. And I think they're all working on a division right now. That's how I think they've probably done the rotation because it's it's largely the same, uh, you know, teams in terms of how they basically build their mechanics. I mean, this is just from my own you know, understanding. I think the Division 3 might be something that once this Star Wars game goes out and all of its pre-planned work and DLC and all its marketing is done, the Division 3 is going to hit such a full production that within 24 months, we will see something very, very concrete as time goes on. Now, 
I again, I could be wrong. I leave room for a lot of the errors that, you know, you probably could see from that. But it's one of those things where you as, you know, a division agent, you can more than likely start to make put together, you know, a puzzle, you know, to be able to kind of make the timeline make sense in regard to all of that. But like I, you know, said in this video, how does the going gold of Star Wars Outlaws concern you? Well, it should, because that means or at least that may translate to we may see Division three in production in a very interesting way. In fact, I think it's already been in production for a while. Like I said, you know, with my theory that Yannick is going to be the creative director. I mean, what else is, you know, he, what else would he have been doing all this while? It's, it's a very it's a very valid question that no one has been able to answer. I mean, even Yannick himself. Um, oh, man, it was a really interesting video made years ago. The video said, where are the devs? And in that video, Yannick actually commented. I've never seen him comment on anything before. And I was proposing, like, maybe they're working on some Terminator game. And he replied and said, a Terminator game would be cool. So in my mind, I think he was basically giving a nod to the community saying, you know, we're out here. We're doing stuff. I don't know if they had commissioned a Division 3. I don't know if they were prototyping one by then. I don't know what was going on. But... To me, it's not really the big deal because when you have two full video games worth of code with multiple patches, man, I don't know how they can punch out this game in two years. <laughs> I don't know how. I mean, it, it will have to be a fantastical situation that holds the next division game from coming out very soon. But I'll leave my thoughts here. I'll talk to you guys in another video. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate y'all so much. Hopefully we'll talk pretty soon in another one. Peace out.